And so we are back for the LOZOOT3HC. Thanks for hitting me and giving me a heart anyway. Last time we died to a Stalfos um, while we were kids. While we were a kid in the Spirit Temple, which we are in. And we are going to not repeat that this time. Let us hope, at least. Yeah, thanks for hitting me there. It's totally not my fault that I ran into it on purpose. Alright. What I did last time was I didn't do a very good job of jumping around when he starts about to strike. And then, yeah, like that, actually. Uh, something I did find out that I did this a couple times, the boomerang actually does stun him, which is helpful. See, like that is very nice. The boomerang took forever to get back to me there, but that's okay. If I, if I think correctly, it should take one more jump attack to kill this guy. There you go. Okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. So each jump attack as a kid equals um, one single strike as an adult. Makes sense. Not that we'll need it much longer, but vital information for your everyday life. And I totally threw that wrong. Okay, come on. I thought it was supposed to curve around. It just curves around when it comes back, I see. Anyway, more pots. And a nice big chest, or a small chest, I guess, as the case may be. It looked big at first. Oh! Um. Uh. I can say I was expecting a lot of things, but definitely not that. Um. I don't. I, I'm not gonna equip it. I, I, that never even crossed my mind. I didn't think I'd get a chest in a, a, a chest with a shield in it. Uh, by the way, this Anubis-looking thing... Oh, it's called Anubis, too. Um, you can't kill it. It dies to fire, though. So the only way we can do that... Is... Yeah, that's a fire spot now. So we gotta lead it over here, because it mirrors where you go. Quickly, Link. Ah, damn it. I think I can hit that switch from here anyway. Man, that... No, I can't equip it, though, because I lost the shield, so I shouldn't... And it says part of the challenge is you cannot get another one. So as long as I have it and don't equip it... Well, at least you won't be able to get another one until later in this temple. Spoilers. It's moving nice and slowly. Non in a non-threatening way. Ah, yes. Here we are, the room we couldn't get at before. So, more keys. I would have burned my shield anyway. Oh, I thought there was a wall master I was going to get me. Okay, there you are. And... Aw, oh, man, Link! I guess it doesn't matter, but still. Okay, they cannot be gotten from the other side by a boomerang. But... Uh, there we go. More rubies that we'll never need. Except for these rubies. We do need the silver rubies. Skulchula, it's on the other side, obviously. They... I'm just trying to kill these things because they're a bit of a nuisance. Since they're on the other side, though, obviously they can't hurt you. Same with the Skulchula. Okay. And now... There we go. Gee, there are torches, and there are torches over there that we could use a Deku stick for. But we're going to be badass and not use that. Instead... Yeah, it's just Inspire. Uh, 
and our first... Okay, that's not a big chest either. What the hell is up with my vision? That looked like a big chest from where I was looking. There we go. Small key. Guess I wouldn't just drop in a big chest though. Now that we're out of that, we can make a little bit of more progress. Yeah, nothing to this room. These boxes. Yeah, bombs, probably. I have never used Deku Nuts. Is it a smart idea to actually use them? I can understand using them. Like, they hurt enemies, obviously. But it just... I mean, usually the enemies that they're supposed to hurt are so close you can hit them with your sword or anything that's a better uh, form of attacking. But what do I know? Another Skulltula that we will, of course, not get. Man, these temples, again, the Shadow Temple had a lot. And looks like the Spirit Temple's gonna have a lot, too. Just of these guys. And, uh... Looks like that rock... Oh, hey, look! Man, lots of mini-bosses are coming back as regular enemies in this temple. Who'd have thought? Oh god, I forgot there's two of them. Yeah, I didn't want you to indicate that to me. Come on. Fucking hell. No! Stop being a dick. Damn it! Will you just die? I can't believe these terrible mini-bosses that are now just regular enemies got me down to only one heart. Guess I don't have a shield like I did last time, but still. Okay, looks like... I need to hit it with a bomb, I guess. Are there any hearts, like, jars I can break? Anything? There's literally nothing, is there? Okay, I guess I better just show the sun the light. All I have are bombs. Can't throw a bomb up there, I don't think. So there's nothing here. Looks like I need bomb chews, but hell, I don't know where to get them. Is there anything back down here? Oh, I got everything. I got the one jar and it had seeds in it. <sighs> searching, searching, searching. Never as fun as it sounds. Then again, it doesn't even sound fun. I... Oh. Right, there it is. And let me guess what this chest has. Your bomb shoes. Yeah, this is what we need to use, and we would have paid two hundred dollars for. Wait. Okay. We would have paid two hundred dollars for these. I don't think so. Oh god. Ooh, that almost came back. <laughs> All right, just straight on. Okay, that was stupid of me. I take full responsibility for that one. Okay, just... I don't know, it looked like that even wasn't even close, but whatever. Progress time! Let's save, because I don't know what's around there. Oh, okay, we're in the big main room-ish sort of thing. Uh, here is... yeah, there's a Scarecrow song area. Um... I open this door again. Oh, there are jars down here. Can you give me some hearts, please? 
Literally nothing? What about... Okay, that's good, thank you. Could stand in more. These looked like torches we could use didn't fire for, but... Wow, those jars literally had nothing. So useful. Thankfully, the jars that are trying to attack me and kill me are the ones that provide health. Time to be badass again! Oh, oh, did it get... Oh, what? I should have been on top of that. No fair. Anyway. I got the map. Didn't expect to get the dungeon item right away. It would have been a short quest, wouldn't it? I remember now we have to push the statue onto the button. And hopefully it will not put a hole through the floor. No, it didn't. Not that I expected it to, but... Jeez, it looked like a heavy statue and I mean, fall down. To be fair, the statue... or this whole place is in the middle of the desert, so it wouldn't have very far to fall. Oh, this room, I remember. More rupee collecting, and there's a sun block that we have to... Um, that we have to draw towards the sun. Just kill these Beemoses before they kill us. If anything taught us that, it was the last temple. <laughs> there you go. don't remember if there's anything you get for killing all the Beemoses. There's no more, so evidently not, but they would still be haughtily annoying if we left them alive. I apologize again if I'm not talking very much. I just like the music of this temple. It's kind of like, Middle Eastern themed sounding. Whether that's, in a sense, racist or stereotypical or misconceived, I'm not really sure. But, what can I say, I like it. I thought of going into musicology, actually, while I was doing schooling at one point, because music like this always fascinates me. Not that, again, not that it's probably very accurate, but... Okay, where's the other torch? This one already ran out. Right there. Burn that stick before I find the next one. Is it... Oh, derp. There it is. Okay. Now let's make this quick alike. One, two lit torches. Uh, uh, uh. Let's make it three. And a small chest could give us any number of things. At this point in the temple, more than likely, it'll give us probably just as I have thought. Thanks. I, I really didn't need that whole two hearts. I really wanted one and three quarters. So, block pulling and pushing is so much fun, isn't it? It is. Except when it's not. Which is right now. But... I'll be honest, while I've been doing this, I actually remembered on the way to doing the chore that Naburu would have us do is a certain mini-boss who, from what I remember, is not very kind to Three Heart Challenge runners. And those of you who remember this temple know who I'm talking about. This is probably going to suck. 
several times. Bringing my weapons with me because this could be terrible. But it could go well at the same time, I don't know. Yeah, here we are in the room of the Iron Knuckle. Saving here, because I don't want to do all that shit again. Alright, let's see what the damage is. Oh, God, we're in for a nightmare, aren't we? Yes, we are. Can I actually survive this time? That would be nice. Don't you get, get too close to him and do stupid jump attacks when he's swinging like that. Oh my god, this is getting terrible with each attempt. More so. Take number 37. Not really, but it kind of feels like it. Okay. Just stand... Fuck! I've done that like ten times now! What the hell? Okay, gotta stop being an idiot. Now. Maybe if I play it more safe like this, things will be different. Okay, just jump back when he starts swinging. Jump back. Okay. I'm an idiot, those obviously wouldn't hurt him, but it never hurts to try. Fuck! <laughs> Oh my god! This is just the worst! This is the worst! I don't know what to do. It's This is getting stupid. This is getting, like, I can't have a fairy. I'm not supposed to... Take number 73? Alright, I've determined... He was not even close to me! Game! Will you please have mercy on me? <sighs> the game's never gonna have mercy on me, is it? 